drawing used to occupy a very comfortable space in the realm of art. It used to be used for preparatory studies for painting primarily. In modern times, you might find drawing in comic books, but you might not know that these are usually done with preparatory studies. If you like Arkham Asylum, these preparatory studies were done by the original author, Grant Morrison, and these were done by the final illustrator, Dave McKean. Um, underlying interesting work, there's always some kind of drawing behind it. For, in just, for instance, this stuff by Zaha Hadid. If you're excited about video games, um, you might find promotional concept art and concept art and design and landscape design behind your favorite games. If you enjoy product design, you might find sketches um, behind the most interesting looking products of a given time. These are all by Dieter Rams. If you like film and TV, you might find someone like Kang Lee, who is behind a whole lot of very interesting images that are out in the public. And they might even be considered just pure landscapes, architectural designs, or um, layouts. If you're interested in concept design, you might find monsters and such designed by people who are classically trained to do paintings and traditional drawings, but have applied it in different areas. If you like fashion design, the initial sketches for people like Alexander McQueen are quite loose and interesting as drawings themselves, and they become something else in the final stages. But whatever discipline you're interested in, chances are if it's within the visual art or design realm, you're going to have to be able to draw to approach that discipline. 